Good morning, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Jarvis. I know I saw most of you this morning on Zoom, but I thought it would be nice to read My Spring Robin outside while listening to the robins. We have robins all over our yard. They're hopping around in the grass, poking their beaks into the dirt. What do you think they're doing? I bet you they're looking for little worms. The worms are out now. And I hear many other birds up in the trees. It's a beautiful day to be outside. This is My Spring Robin by Ann Rockwell. Hope you're able to see the pictures. The pictures in the book are written by Harlow Rockwell and Lizzie Rockwell. There's the crocus right in the beginning. A robin sang a song for me every day last summer. I liked that robin. Oh, so the little girl, the main character, is talking to us and she's telling us that this robin last year sang to her in the summer and how much she enjoyed that. But in the fall, my robin flew away. My father said it would come back in the spring. So when spring came, and that's why Daddy's pointing to the 21st of March on the calendar. So when spring came, comma, I went looking for my spring robin. I saw a bee taking honey from a crocus, but I didn't see my robin. So now I know the story begins here in the spring when the little girl's looking for the robin. I looked into the yellow forsythia bush. There it is, the yellow forsythia, but my robin wasn't there. My robin was not sitting high up in the branches of the magnolia tree. Oh, a magnolia tree. I saw one of those today on my walk. The beautiful pink and white flowers. In the fern garden behind our outdoor table, fuzzy fiddleheads were sprouting in last year's wet brown leaves. That's what those are, fiddleheads. Okay, it's a fern garden. Nice moist soil there. But I didn't see my robin there. She's still looking. Let's see if she finds her robin. I saw a tiny toad. It hopped behind a clump of daffodils to hide from me. So there's that word toad on the page. Toad. T-O-A-D, toad. And there's daffodils. We talked about those this morning too. I looked high up into the sky to see if my robin was flying back to me. Drops of rain fell on my face and our neighbor's cat ran home. Oh, that's our neighbor's cat. Okay. And there's the rain. Rain. R-A-I-N. Rain. Cats don't like rain, so that cat went home. Let's see if she continues her search. After the shower, I picked a little bunch of purple violets for my mother. I watched a shiny earthworm wriggle up out of the ground. And there it is. I watched an earthworm yesterday while I was digging. This is the time to go looking for worms. Then I heard it. Oh, so she's using her ears. She heard it. Cheer up. Cheerily, cheer up, cheerily, cheer up, cheerily. I knew who was singing that song. <gasps> so she heard the robin. It was my spring robin. And there he is, or she is. What a beautiful story. Thank you for listening, and I hope you have a beautiful spring day. Miss you. Love you all. Bye-bye.